If you have not used Moat yet, you're going to click on this link right here and it's going to open up into the Chrome Web Store. You're going to click Add to Chrome, Add Extension, and you are going to get another pop-up. Let's see, welcome. So you're going to say you are under 18 years old. You're going to sign in with Google, sign in with your account, and you're going to say yes to all the things that it asks you to do. All right, so I'm going to go into my slides. I'm going to press refresh because I don't see the moat icon. It's this purple circle. When I refreshed, it popped up here. Okay, so that's the first thing we need to do if we're going to use moat. Um, now, if you're going to use moat to exp like answer your question, the guiding question with a claim evidence reasoning, and you want to record your voice, you are going to click on the purple M and it says you need to grant moat additional permission. So I'm going to say next. It says my microphone's working. So it needs more additional permission. So next again. Sign in with Google. And I'm going to allow it to see, edit, create, and delete things into my Google Drive because it needs to record those videos. And so it needs to view my slides. All right and then allow down at the bottom. Okay, it's gonna ask me some info, potentially. Um, I thought I had signed in as, as a student, but it might be thinking I'm a teacher right now. Yeah, so none, I don't teach. Next. So the name of your school. So you would type in your school name. All right, let's go back and try this again. All right, so here, now it says record my moat. So I have this that I can move around if I was like looking at my notes, for example, to answer the questions. Maybe I was on slide number six, where I had all my notes written down from my partner and I when we discussed it. And then you're gonna click on this and you get a minute and 30 seconds to write your, or to speak your answer. So you're going to go ahead and answer the question about um, that was listed on the first slide. And you can even move up to the first slide and you can say like climate change is causing the decline in bird populations because of X, Y, and Z. And we learned about in the articles or in the podcast that this, this, and this is happening. And if those are happening to this, that means that the birds aren't going to have this, this, or that. So you're going to give your answer. When you're done, you press the M. And it's going to take a minute. It says it's thinking. What it's doing is it's processing everything. And then it says it's ready to insert. So I want to go to the slide that I want to insert it on, which is going to be your last slide. So if you were student number one, um, you can insert it here, but you can play and listen to it first. Um, and if you don't like it, you can delete it and do it again. But let's say it's all good. I want to use it. I'm going to click insert. And it says hold tight. We're automatically inserting your moat. And so now it has included it as this purple circle um, with the speaker. And then you can, it brings up the formatting options. You can make it where you have to click it to play, which is default, and that's a good one. You could make it play automatically, um, but I, I'm going to leave it just as it is, where it stops on slide change. It's on click. I can close this, and then I'm ready to go. Just make sure you put your name on the page so we know that it's yours.